In today's video, I'm going to show you something that I think is going to blow your socks off. It's never been done with a DEX decentralized exchange before. We've got a trading bot, the very first type. Let me take you over to my laptop and show you what I'm talking about. I think you're going to love this. So what have I got for you? Well, first off, let me take you over to Johnny Blockchain and show you what we've got. You haven't got access to this at the moment because we're still um, testing but we've got a grid bot. Look at that on the screen there. And I'm going to show you the settings in a moment. But first off, this is the very first grid bot for DEXs. You can get grid bots on all the centralized exchanges. Uh, I know that already. But there's no trading robot that trades with decentralized exchanges with grid bots. Now, I've set up two grid bots in the last 24 hours. It's been less than 24 hours because I did it yesterday morning around about um, 11 o'clock in the morning. The time of making this video is just nine o'clock. My Bitcoin trading robot did 1.33% a clear profit in that period of time. And my OM bot did 3.5%. So you might be looking at the screen and saying, Jeremy, what is a grid bot? Well, let me explain it to you on the whiteboard here. So a grid bot is quite simply this. So let's just say this is your chart, okay? And we'll say it doesn't matter the token. The same principle would apply to all tokens. Let's say that your token price is $100, okay? So to buy whatever token X, it costs you, to buy one of them costs you $100. Let's just say that the, uh, the price is here, $100. But the price has gone up to its all-time high. It's been, I don't know, we'll say $160. And its all-time low, we'll say it's gone down to $80. What you'll do with a grid bot is you'll choose a range of what the bot's trading in. So let's say in real time that the price has gone like this, you know. So the price is... A hundred dollars because this is the hundred dollars, and we said it at the moment it's worth a hundred dollars. Is that's the price line of it right now? And uh, you know, this would be the timeline down here. So you've got day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, or month one, month two, month three, month four, and so on. Okay, so let's just say it, this is the eighty dollars and this is the all time high. Let's just say that, that it did this, you know. And then it did this, and it went like that, and like that, and then like it might have gone back up, and it come back down, and it did this, okay? There's what happened with your token. Now, let's say that we can see that there's a pattern here, and I'll draw it in blue. There's a pattern here that it seems to be, you know, this is a range of support, if you like, or resistance. It goes, it touches this line, but comes back down. And let's just say that this is around, um, we'll put this at $120, okay? We'll put that at $120. And then we can see that there's support around about here, okay? So we've got support. So we've now got a range. So this support, we're going to say that that's around uh, what we've gone down to $80. So we'll say that this is $90. So we can see... Look, the price right now is $100 because that's the price. You know, that's got to come back down to there. That's the price what it is right now. That's where it's trading at the moment, $100. But what's happened is the low price down here, it's gone up, it's reached its all-time high, and it's done this. Now, what you could set your bot up to do, your grid bot, is to say, I only want to trade within this range. I only want to trade in here. So any trades outside of this range, so if the price goes up, it won't do anything in this area. And if the price goes down, it won't do anything in this area. So basically what your bot, a grid bot does is it splits the chart up into a higher section and a lower section. So what it does is it does all its buys. I know this is getting a bit busy. Um, in the bottom there, maybe... Let me wipe some of it. I'll put it over. I think you can see. Yeah. So what it does is this is the buy range. Okay. This is the buy range. And then this, there'd obviously be a gap in the middle because uh, you can't buy and sell on the same line. There'd be a gap in the middle. So it would be something like that. So there'd be a, uh, this will be the spread, you see. 
So there'll be a buy range and a sell range, and that sell range is over there. Now what the bot will do is it will, wherever it is now, so if it was on $100, it wouldn't buy anything, would it? Because it's, you know, probably middle of the road there, you know? Uh, it's not exactly because that's 120, that's 90, but you get the idea, hopefully. But when you start your bot, it may not buy straight away until it gets into the buy part of the grid. And then what it does, it splits this grid up. So let's just say that you were trading with $100, and you said, I want to split that up into 10 grids. Get rid of some of this, just to show you. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited about this bot and I can't wait for you to get your hands on it. I really can't, but we want to split test it and test it some more. But the results so far have been amazing. So let's say that the uh, this is your, your grid, okay? This is your buy grids. I'll just put four on the screen for the moment. Now, we're checking the price, and let's just say that the price is down here, it comes up, we check the price here, okay? The bot does nothing because it hasn't passed this part of the grid. It's got to either touch this grid or pass it when we check the price. So we check the price here. So the bot does now a buy. Now that buy, I'm gonna call it one hash, okay, will have a corresponding sell. So that buy, the bot will work out that here is the fees, you know, the buy and sell fees, and it will say, right, I gotta make a profit, and that's gonna be up here. So the first sell is somewhere there, okay? Now, that could be, at, depending on, on how much you're trading with, depending on what token you're trading, and how many grids you've got. That could be anything from 0.1% to up from there, okay? Now, my bot yesterday, my OM bot, did, I think Danny did tell me, let me just check, I think it did around about 60 trades. It did, uh, no, it did, let me just see, da, 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 it'll tell me here, but I'm looking at my, my screen here. Ah, uh, yeah, so the bot did uh, 10 trades yesterday with $10, uh, and on each trade, ah, 3.5%, so it's a lot more. So each trade got 3.5%. So then the bot, now, what it does is the price carries on. Now, this, this price, the price, we check the price, and it's here, okay? Or it might be just here, and so that means it will trigger the second buy, okay? So that's the second buy. That will create on the, on the, on the grid, it will create a second sell. That's another sell. And now, let's just say, that the price comes down. It comes down below the grid. Well, it's not gonna buy this one again because it's already bought it. It's not gonna buy this one again because it's already bought it. And then it does this, it tanks right down here. Goes down to whatever this price is down here. Now, with a, a default setting robot, your bot would be DCAing in, DCAing in. And if you haven't got the funds, your bot can stop out, can't it? Because this happens to so many people, they overtrade and the price drops by 20, 30%, and they just haven't got the funds to carry, you know, to, to carry their bot through in this bear run, which if they did have, they'd be in a much better position, obviously, because as the price starts to go up, then what happens is the, the bot sells, takes a profit, I should do it in green, really, shouldn't I? And then sells, takes profit, sells and takes profit, sells and takes profit. But I know there's a lot of people that don't have the funds, okay? So they don't have the funds in their account to carry those drops. So this is like a, a stop loss without you losing your funds. Because what it does, if it goes below the grid line, which you've set, it won't trade. It will wait for the price to come back up. And, you know, what happens, what goes down comes back up. Most of the tokens that I've traded, they've gone down, they've had big drops, but eventually they go back up. And if I'm lucky enough and I've got lots of funds and I've overtrade as well, if I've got lots of funds, those bots can trade down at the lower level. But if I don't have lots of funds, grid bots are perfect for me because it, I know what I'm gonna spend. It's inside this grid. Now a grid bot will trade a lot more frequent than what uh, another bot that you've got at the moment because 
the grid bot's not looking for retracement. It's not looking for those types of trigger points. It's completely different trigger points because the trigger points are grids on that price range. So in that price range, it's lines that trigger the grid. It buys, it sells, it buys. Now, what can happen in this scenario, you know, it's uh, it does this. It goes, it buys this one. Let's just do this uh, in red and it the buys. I don't know why I did it in view. So it buys number three and it buys number four, okay? Uh, and then obviously it'll have a sell up here for three and it'll have a four sell, okay? Now, what can happen is, is the bot can go up because I've I've done I've done this. It's it's not exactly our 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 grid. I'm trying to make it simple because this uh, number one buy the sell would probably be in somewhere in here before say grid three. It would be in there. You see, but the way visually to split it up and all grids do this is they show that all the sells are at the top and all the buys are at the bottom. But it's not actually because what you want is when you do a buy. There's a, a, depending on how many grids, there's a gap after fees where it wants to sell. And that could be before it buys another grid, okay? So what can happen is as this goes up and down like that, the price, your robot can do uh, buys, wrong color, can do buys and sells. And it could do that a lot more frequently because its only trigger is, is the grid. If it crosses a line on the grid or touches a line on the grid and we collect the price at that point and the liquidity is there, the bot will do the action. It'll either do the buy, it will do the sell. This has never, ever, ever, ever been done for a decentralized trading robot. Nobody's done this. It's taken us a long time to do this because grid bots normally work on centralized exchanges because the centralized exchanges, you can get calls back via the API a lot quicker than what you can with um, a decentralized exchange. You know, you get them back quicker through APIs. It's more precise. Now, we will introduce this grid bot to the centralized exchanges, but right now we're going to put it on the Dex exchange, which is PancakeSwap. Nobody has done a grid bot for PancakeSwap. This is mind blowing. It's game changing. It really is. I think that you know, and I we uh, let me show you. I want to show you it, it, how my bot's been doing. Okay, so at the moment when you come into Johnny Blockchain, you won't see this tab here that says Grid Bots. You know, you'll see bots and limit orders. And if you look, I've got two bots set up here. I have an archive done. I've just set them up. And I don't have any information. I don't have anything on the display at the moment to show my earnings or anything like that. But if I click on these three lines, this is the Bitcoin one, and I come down to this admin tool. Now, obviously, you wouldn't have this admin tool. This gives you an idea of what's been happening with the bot. So you can see, actually, I set the bot up uh, on September the 9th at 7.41 a.m., okay? Um, the time of making this video is around, what, 10 o'clock now because I've made the video. So, you know, we've gone over the 24 hours. But you can see here what happened in the middle is it bought some lots. Um, it spent $10 a time or 10 uh, tether. It bought at this price range here. Uh, and if you look here, it says it sold uh, nine grids successfully. So that put me in profit. Now, so what I've done is then the bot went out of the price range because I had it set up at a different price range. Now, normally on a grid bot, you wouldn't be able to change the price range, but we're testing it. So I've changed the price range. So let's go and have a look now. So if we look at uh, Bitcoin at the moment, here's the Bitcoin chart on my trading view. This is our signal thing that we're working on. Uh, so ignore that for the moment. So as you could see now, we're trading around, what, $57,000.31. And if I come back to Johnny Blockchain, go on here and click on Edit the Settings. So I've got my Bitcoin and Tether Pancake. I can either use it on Pancake V3 or Pancake. I've got this one on Pancake. Like before, you would approve the tokens as normal. And then you've got your grid settings down here, okay? So you say the amount that you want to trade. 
and what the price range is. So you've got your lower price range and you've got your upper price range. So I've got 52,000 as my lower price range and 61,000 as my upper price range. So if I go to my chart, if I put in a couple of lines, let's just do that, a trend line. So we put in here. So we've got something like that and let's just bring that down. So we've got something like that. Where are we going there? And then I've got another, uh, I'll put a horizontal line. I've got it there. So that, between that orange line and that white line, is my trading range. Now, what can happen is, you know, the bot could do a buy here, do a sell here, do a buy here, do a sell here. Because it's, it's not looking for retracements or anything like that. It's only looking at lines on the grid. So if I go back to Johnny Blockchain, you can see here, if I can scroll down, this is the current price movement as it is now. The, uh, the blue line is crossed over both the red and the green line. And the, that, uh, so th there's the spread that between those. The red line would be buy, a blue line would be the sell price, okay? Um, so that would be the spread, the gap between those. So you can see here, look, it crossed this line here. So if we come right down the bottom, let's come to the bottom. Here's the very first buy it could do. Well, the price hasn't gone down there yet. So there's another buy it could do. There's another buy. That would be the first sell. That red line would be the first sell. Then there'd be a buy. Then there'd be a sell. Then there'd be a buy. So you can see now that because the price range is round here at the moment, doing these lines that go up and down, my bot can do multiple buys and sells. And you can see, if I get my mouse over to the right there, and if you follow from left to right, you can see as those blue and red lines, that's the price movement, I'm crossing the lines on the grid. So I'm buying and selling, buying and selling, buying and selling. Now, your normal bots don't do this. And let's go and have a look at the OM bot. And you see here, it's it's even it's even more clearer for you to see. Um, you know, it's it's touched this line. So it's, it's done a buy. It would have done a sell. And then it's touched this line here. It's done a buy. It's done a sell. It's touched this line up here. I've got the price in there. It's touched that line up there, just around there. It's done a buy and it's done a sell. And if you could see here in this range, it's been touching that red and green line many times. So this bot's got lots of chance to do buys and sells, buys and sells. Now that may only pick you up a very small amount of profit after trading fees, because all profits are worked out after trading fees. You know, it's not going to... Uh, not take into account the trading fees because you'd lose money. But basically, grid bots can trade that much more frequently. So I'm really excited for you to get access to this. Now, I think we need to be working on this for another maybe one or two weeks. So I think not this weekend, but possibly next weekend or in the middle of next week, you might get access to this so that you can start testing it. Uh, we may choose certain accounts to test it out. People that are using the bots uh, a lot at the moment, and uh, we'll choose people and give them access to it. But you're all going to get eventually access to this trading bot. I think it's pretty mind blowing of what this bot can achieve. And if I go to OM, you see I've got these settings set up low and high. So I've set my OM bot. Let's go over to here just to show you. Go back to edit the bot. So I've got my OM bot set at 0.84 and 1.2. So if I look now, the price is what, 92 cents there or 99 cents. So I've set my low range somewhere around here and I've set my high range up here. So my bot will trade at the moment, you know, it would have done nicely because it's going nice sideway action. Now your normal bots possibly don't trade as much in these sideway actions because it doesn't have enough movement up and it doesn't have enough movement down for it to trigger the bot, where this has only got to cross certain lines, certain grids that are on the trade, uh, that are on the chart, sorry. So this bot, I believe, is going to be a game changer for the DEX trading system. Johnny Blockchain We've got so much coming your way, it's, it's unreal. We're going to be working on the limit bot soon, but we've also got signals that we're working on to be able to give you signals so that you would know when to enter the market and you'll have a signals bot that runs on that. 
with stop losses and things like that in it. We're also working on another type of bot where you can buy a token and then set it up to sell that token in portions. So you might sell 25% when it gets to this price, another 25% when it gets to another price, another 25% to get to another price and so on. You know, this Johnny Blockchain, we're constantly working on bringing you the best trading bots that are out there right now. You want to create your own trading robot, below this video you're going to find a link. It's going to take you over to Johnny Blockchain. You can either use it with a MetaMask wallet and PancakeSwap or Uniswap, or you can set it up with Binance.com and Binance US. You've got decentralized trading or centralized trading. Your funds stay inside your wallets all the time. So if you're using the decentralized, your funds stay inside your MetaMask. If you're using the centralized on Binance, then your funds stay inside your Binance account. You don't have to send your funds to this platform to do the trading for you. You can create a free account by clicking on sign up or register. And if you look down the bottom here, you'll see that we've got uh, 105,000 in passive income for the members so far. You'll also see that there's over $7,000 paid in affiliate commissions. It's also got affiliate program, 98.4% of profitable trades, 0.5% of bought back, you know, broke even basically. And then we've got 1.1% of negative trades it means that they made a loss. But you know, 98.4% of positive trades, absolutely mind blowing system. It really works. It does what it says on the tin. It's a trading robot that works with PancakeSwap, Uniswap and Binance.com or Binance.us. Create your free account. Click on any of these buttons, sign up or register. It's going to bring you here. Pop your name, your email address, password. Put some ticks in these boxes. Click on this box here to say complete my sign up. You can have a look around. And when you're ready to get started, if you want to set up a decentralized trading robot, it's going to cost you $25 a year to set up as many trading robots as you like. If you want to set up a centralized trading robot with Binance, it's going to cost you another $25 a year and you can set up as many robots as you like. So if you want to set up both decentralized and centralized trading robots, it's just $50 a year for as many trading robots as you like. Click the link below, come and create your free account, and happy trading.